Hello, welcome to Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about advanced analytics architecture in Azure. And we will also talk about what are the components involved in the architecture and we will discuss about data flow. And I will also cover the topic, what is advanced data, advanced analytics, and what is the difference between analytics and advanced analytics. What is advanced analytics? Advanced analytics is the autonomous or semi-autonomous examination of data or content using sophisticated techniques and tools, typically beyond those of traditional business intelligence and to discover deeper insights, make predictions or generate recommendations. Advanced analytics is an umbrella term for a group of high level methods and tools that can help us get more out of our data. What is the difference between analytics and advanced analytics? The focus of advanced analytics is more on forecasting using the data to find the trend, trends to determine what is likely to happen in the future. Basic analytics provides a summary of data, whereas Advanced analytics goes a step ahead in providing a deeper knowledge about data and helps in granular data analysis. And here, if we talk about architecture, and we see that, like, you know, log files and media and business custom applications, the data is coming from these log files and media and the source and the data is unstructured and structured and we can ingest data into azure storage using azure data factory and we can store that data in azure storage and we can use azure data bricks for the preparation and try and we can do all the etl transformations and azure synapse is a sql data warehouse and power bi like you know can connect to these synapse or data bricks and uh, build a beautiful uh, reports dashboards so before we talk about data flow let's talk about each component in the architecture what is azure data factory azure data factory is a hybrid data integration service that allows us to create schedule and orchestrate our etl and elt workflows what is Azure Blob Storage? Azure Blob Storage is a massively scalable object storage for any type of unstructured data images, videos, audio, documents, and more easily and cost effectively. We can store a structured and unstructured data in Azure Blob Storage. If we have data, uh, a lot, if we have large data sets, then we can use Azure Data Lake Storage to store that massive amount of data. So what is Azure Data Lake Storage? Azure Data Lake Storage is a fully managed, elastic, scalable, and secure file system that supports a big data solutions. The Azure Data Lake Store service provides a platform for organizations to park and process and analyze vast volumes of data in any format. What is Azure Databricks? Azure Databricks is a fast, easy, and collaborative Apache Spark-based analytics platform. Azure Databricks is an Apache Spark-based analytics platform optimized for the Microsoft Azure Cloud Services platform. It is designed with the founders of Apache Spark Databricks is integrated with Azure to provide one-click setup, streamlined workflows, and an interactive workspace that enables collaboration between data scientists, data engineers, and business analysts. What is Azure Synapse Analytics? Azure Synapse Analytics is the fast, flexible, and trusted cloud data warehouse that let us scale, compute, and storage, store elastically and independently with a massively parallel processing architecture. 
Azure Synapse is an analytics service that brings together enterprise data warehousing and big data analytics. It gives us the freedom to query data on our terms using either serverless on-demand or provision resources at scale. Azure Synapse brings these two worlds together with a unified experience to ingest, prepare, manage, and serve data for immediate BI and machine learning needs. It is formally called as SQL Data Warehouse. Azure Cosmos DB. Azure Cosmos Database is a globally distributed multi-model database service. What is Azure Analysis Service? Azure Analysis Service is an enterprise-grade analytics as a service that lets us go on, deploy, test, and deliver our BI solution with confidence. Azure Analysis Service is a fully managed platform as a service that provides enterprise-grade data models in the cloud. And we can use advanced mashup and modeling features to combine data from multiple data sources, define metrics, and secure our data in a single trusted tabular semantic data model. The data model provides an easier and faster way for users to perform ad hoc data analysis using tools like Power BI and Excel. And last one, Power BI. Power BI is a suite of business analytics tools that deliver insights throughout our organization. We can connect to hundreds of data sources and simplify data preparation and drive ad hoc analysis. We can produce our reports, then publish them for our organizations to consume on the web and across mobile devices. Let's talk about the data flow. So here, if you see that, like, you know, steps one to seven. So I will go through each step. Let's talk about step one. So in step one, we bring, we bring all our structured, unstructured and semi-structured data using Azure Data Factory to load data into Azure Blob Storage. If, if we have huge amount of data, then we will use Azure Data Lake Storage. So in this structure, unstructured, semi-structures, examples like log files, web log files, or text files, flat files, and media files. We can use Azure Data Factory to load this data into Azure Storage. Step two. Then we will use we use Azure Databricks to clean and transform the structureless data sets and combine them with structured data from operational databases or data warehouses. We can use this Azure Databricks to do all the ETL transformations and step two. And step three, we use a scalable machine learning, deep learning techniques to derive deeper insights from this data using Python or Scala, SQL, with inbuilt notebook experiences in Azure Databricks. So we can use any of these languages to work in the notebooks. So we can choose Python. If you are comfortable with Python, you can choose Python. Or if you are comfortable with R Scala, you can choose it. So I'm comfortable with SQL and Python. So I choose either SQL or Python. And step four. Leverage native connectors between Azure Databricks and Azure Synapse Analytics to access and move data at scale. So if you see in the step four, so after all the ETL transformations, then you know we can uh, load data into Azure Synapse. And step five, the power users take advantages of the inbuilt capabilities of Azure Databricks to perform root cause determination and draw data analysis. If the data scientists, data engineers, they all like, you know, or take advantages of these inbuilt capabilities of Azure Databricks. And step six, we can query and report on data in Power BI. So using Power BI, we can connect to Azure Analysis Services, we can connect to Azure Databricks and build a beautiful uh, report, and we can uh, distribute um, uh, in our organization. And step seven, take the insights from Azure Databricks 
to Cosmos database to make them accessible through web and mobile applications. So, so far in this module, we covered advanced analytics architecture in Azure. What is the data flow? What are the components? We also discussed what is advanced analytics and what is the difference between analytics and advanced analytics. If you have any questions on this module, please post in the comments. If you like this video, please like. Please hit like and uh, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.